other interesting political news, you have GOP debate highlights with Mike Pence. Now, let's see here. This is Mike Pence coming back, attempting to the debates. We'll see how much he is able to increase in the polls. Oh, there's so much speculation. He He's one of the lower tiers in terms of he's someone who's not, he's nearly last place when it comes to most polls. There's a lot of speculation he's doing this just to preserve his legacy for his grandkids and to distance himself from Trump and the controversies. There's a lot of speculation on is he really running, but and we'll see. Maybe maybe he'll, like the hockey stick trajectory, maybe, you know, he's getting a little bit support. Maybe he'll hockey stick somehow. And that does happen every once in a while. But there's a lot of speculation, speculation on why he's running. But nevertheless, these are the highlights he deemed the best. Although... He, didn't have, he wasn't prudent enough more accurately. His social media team wasn't prudent enough to make like a simple highlight reel. So what I did is I just took the top, what I thought were the top most engaged tweets that he released from the September 27th debate. And again, I'm still looking for software for picture in picture. So if you have suggestions, really appreciate it. But for now, we will endure, so to say. So he says before the clip in text, he says, quote, the president of the United States needs to be a champion for the American dream for every American. And it begins with the unborn, unquote. Without further ado. Well, I, I promise you that we're going to continue to build bridges to every community in this country. And I'm incredibly proud of that tax cut and tax reform bill. I worked on Capitol Hill to help get that bill passed into law, the largest tax cut in American history. We saw literally the lowest unemployment ever recorded for Hispanic Americans, the lowest unemployment ever recorded for African Americans, 50 year low for women. So I think the president of the United States needs to be a champion for the American dream for every American. And he's a red boy. It begins with the unborn and the aging and the infirm. And it begins with every ethnic group in this country. And I promise you, if I'm president of the United States, I'll be a champion. I'll be a champion for the American dream for Hispanic Americans and for every American. So help me God. Jesus. And again, the Twitter really fixed that, Elon. It's ridiculous. The video I make repeats itself. He's saying, I think he's saying some things that many people resonate with, and he has some great facts. Lowest unemployment. He should be extremely excited about that. He's the only person on that stage that can say those statistics. He's the only one that can say, hey, I was there. I We got the lowest unemployment for A, B, and C. He should be enthusiastic beyond all belief. As, in terms of, you look at your competition, and whether you're selling cars or knickknacks or becoming a politician, the things that really separate you, those differentiators, the things that only your product has, only your person, only you have, and yet he doesn't sound excited. And again, I, I don't know if it's an off day for him or, but drink it. This is one of the most important. And again, maybe he's not really running. It's just he's doing it half-assed. Some might say, but have a extra can of coffee or something. Like get some energy in your system. This is, and again, he's been here before, but. I don't know, a lot of people are saying this, maybe this is his last political activity, but just from the, the tone of his voice, does he sound excited to be there? That he should be, again, hammering these facts into the ground. He's the only one on the stage that can say that. And he does not sound very enthused. In terms of going viral on social media, not so much. And this is at the, within 48 hours, the statistics come in, it got 28,800 views. So not the best. You have DeSantis and, you know, you have Vivek and you know, Nikki Haley, usually between, you know, 50, 60, 70, 120. And they have Chris Christie around 10, 20, 30,000 views. Then he, he did get the half million view with the Donald Duck joke. But let's look at the comments. Let's see what people have to say. Mr. Do, 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 Mr. GR81. This person says, quote, sorry, Mike, we haven't forgotten your lack of action in 2021 and leaving Trump out to dry, unquote. That person got five likes oh what the hell good old advertisements on the twitter sphere let's see wow let's see someone by the name of ben can't be ben bergham okay so it's not the competition though apparently it's a host of a law and order show this person says i agree with you but please go away already hashtag trump 2024 and this hashtag no Judas Pence. I mean, that's a good old biblical reference. I know public schools are, they don't teach books these days, but nevertheless, that religious text is when Judas actually betrayed Jesus. That being the metaphor he's using here. He got 36 likes. So that resonated with quite a few folks. 
and let me see here. This is a GIF, someone by the name of Pound Sand. And this person just did a GIF of, of has to be some type of celebrity, saying, oh, oh, F off. Now that person got four likes? I, again, I'm not seeing a lot of positive interaction. Not a lot of likes in these comments. Mr. Not Dale JR88 said, quote, your candidacy, not my concern, unquote. That person got three likes. All right, so that, I think the context that he actually said, the statistics were good, but it, uh, it just did not resonate with hardly anyone. Now, his next clip of the three things I thought he was most proud of, this one did get more views, many more. But still not, not, not that much. He got about 64K. So this is a little text before his little speech. And he says, quote, During our administration, we achieved energy independence and became a net exporter of energy for the first time in 75 years. When I'm president of the United States, we're going to open up federal lands, unleash American energy, and retake our spot as the leader producer of energy in the world. Unquote. I think one of the signature accomplishments of our administration was in just a few short years. We achieved uh, energy independence. We became a net exporter of energy for the first time in 75 years. But on day one, Joe Biden declared a war on energy, which was no surprise because when Joe Biden ran for president, he said he was going to end fossil fuels. And they've been working overtime to do that ever since. If I'm president of the United States, uh, we're going to open up federal lands. We're going to unleash American energy. We're going to have an all of the above energy strategy. And I have a plan that actually would not only reclaim energy independence, but in, in 2006, America lost our position as the leading energy producer on earth. I believe in the next 10 years with the right policies and an experienced leadership in the White House, we can reclaim our role as the leading energy producer on earth and that'll grow the American economy for generations to come. So again, that he sounded like he had a little more energy. Perhaps he has a, maybe he snuck a drink from Red Bull under the little podium he has, perhaps. Now that got 64,700 views. But only 207 people liked it. Um, let's look at the comments. Mr. Cracked Up, this individual said, quote, Sir, you'll never be president, unquote. They got 22 likes. Some by the name of Jamal Jernan said, quote, A little tip for you, Mr. Vice President. You should take credit for the good things you accomplished during your tenure. Instead of saying we were in office, say during my time as vice president, I achieved this and that. I had to navigate carefully with uh, with President Trump to uphold the conservative agenda while he engaged in diplomatic endeavors like the DPRK. Despite the challenges, I delivered results. My loyalty lies in the American people and being smart ones, staying true to one's character. I can continue to work for the benefit of all. That person, while their response was quite lengthy, they did get eight likes. Now scrolling through, let's see here. Mr. Teco Mojo says, quote, Wow, over one hour after this, and I am the 95th person to comment, that says it all, unquote. That person got four likes. Mr. Rob Angelo said, quote, 1% Mike, give up, unquote. That person got 19 likes out of 713 views. Mr. G.S. Sand says, quote, best commentary, best debate commentary of the night, Quote, I'd rather vote for the fly that landed on Pence's head than Pence, unquote. I concur. Person got 15 likes out of 400 views. Will Kenenzi says, quote, if you lose a primary, you can take your comedy road on the road. Or rather, comedy show on the road. Unquote. That person got 17 likes. So again, I'm trying to see... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any positive. Laddie come home said, quote, Mike is pathetic. Got four likes. Grandpa Jason says, quote, we means Trump, unquote. Got seven likes. I guess perhaps a contradictory statement or someone who's, um, oh, no, no, no. They're all consistently against him. Uh, 
Well, that that's that's not great, uh, Mike. That's not great. He did appear to have a little more energy, but maybe maybe third time is a charm. Let's see. Uh, let's see his third tweet. Maybe this really embodies what he stands for, and it'll resonate with people. Perhaps. Now this one was the most viral. This one almost got half a million views. While the other one's got like twenty to sixty. So much more viral. Now is it much more effective? Let's dive in. He says before the clip, quote, I am sick and tired of these mass shootings happening in the United States of America. And when I'm president, I'm going to go to Congress and we're going to pass a federal expedited death penalty for anyone involved in mass shooting so that they will meet their fate in months, not years, unquote. And without too much further ado, play the clip. Well, first, let me speak to the mass shootings issue and then I'll answer that question. It's an important one, Dana. Look, I'm someone that believes that justice delayed is justice denied. And as a father of three, as a grandfather of three beautiful little girls, I'm to, I am sick and tired of these mass shootings happening in the United States of America. And if I'm president of the United States, I'm going to go to the Congress of the United States, and we're going to pass a federal expedited death penalty for anyone involved in a mass shooting so that they will meet their fate in months, not years. It is unconscionable that the, the, uh, the Parkland shooter, Ron, is actually going to spend the rest of his life behind bars in Florida. That's not justice. We have to mete out justice and send a message to these would-be killers that you are not going to live out your days behind bars. I You're going to meet that. justice in this system. But does that mean Interesting. That would also cut the population of Chicago in about in half. Because depending on you, how you define a mass shooting, depending on what statistic you're looking at, that includes shootings of two or more people. So, an interesting perspective. Now, the downside, I think, I think this is a very big topic, of course. I think a multi-pronged approach would be more prudent. I'm surprised, why doesn't he mention, hey, we have a lot of military vets. You know what would stop a lot of these perpetrators? Put a, put a Marine with an M16 in front of every school. Deterrence is a great thing. It's worked phenomenally for the Jewish school community. And you have many examples where bad guys will see the armed guard there and they go away from that particular place. Now, that got 432,000 views. So that's the biggest, most viral moment Mike Pence had on his little Twitter highlights. And let's see what the comments section says. Yay or nay? Now, one of the first comments says, from Southern Girl 954 this person says, quote, or maybe just ban assault weapons since it's what is used in these mass shootings, unquote. Mentally vacuous and inaccurate, correct. But she did get 163 likes. People forget Columbine was, I believe, what was that? There are a couple of them where there's handguns only. But again, you're not, attempt you're not attempting to solve the problem. You're looking at the inanimate object. Now, let's see. Mr. Raul Sood said, quote, Death penalty, many of the mass shooters end up killing themselves, unquote. This person got 245 likes out of 8,956 views. Let's see here. Mr. John Crayer said, quote, Only issue I see with that is most of these doing them are suicidal, so that might play into their mission. We need mental health to step up. So all high school kids and probably junior high get consulted by a trained psychiatrist at least twice a year or more if the consultant deems, unquote. That person got 39 likes. Mr. Evolution, this person says, quote, why not tackle the root problems, unquote. That person got 77 likes, which, yeah, that would be the most prudent thing to do. It's, it's one of those things where I don't think it's just politically attractive to say, hey, you know what we really need in the United States? Nuclear families. We need stronger communities, stronger religious communities as well. That's not as attractive as a cliche politician saying we need to do one or two simple keyword things. Where you usually have Democrats say, we need to get rid of guns. And in this case, he says, well, this one is actually not a terrible idea. He needs to define it, though. And again, I think another thing would be good, stop glorifying these evil perpetrators. Very, you see a very similar thing with the sports balls phenomenon where people would run naked out the fields. They would do it because they would get famous. They, uh, the reporters and everyone would say their name. 
they all then adopted a policy where they were not going to address their names anymore, as well as increasing security. Those two things helped drop that phenomenon to basically it really doesn't happen anymore. But nevertheless, back to the comments. Someone by name of Tom the Baptist said, quote, Real Christian Mike, unquote, person got 93 likes. Well, let's see. Again, I'm not I'm not seeing a lot of them that are positive towards him necessarily. Let's see. Yeah, I'd say needless to say, Mike Pence is not trending. Now, let me know. Do you think these past couple tweets, do they increase your perception of Mike? Or do they increase your odds of voting for him? Maybe it decreased it? It, In terms of the comments, and again, it'll be, it'll be fascinating to see what's the correlation between social media. And again, this is just one social media avenue versus actual polls and actual voting. Well, it'll be interesting to see if there's any correlation or what that correlation might be. But as of right now, that certainly didn't go viral, I think, the way he wanted to. And again, for a majority of it, it just kind of seemed he sounded lackluster. Like he was, he was just kind of going through the motions. He wasn't really excited or really enthusiastic. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. I know it's ambitious, but we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of September, or rather October, because my ADHD, the months go way too quick these days. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you take the time to like and comment, I really appreciate the feedback, even if it's critical, as we try to make the show better and better together. And also, lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.